just gonna start recording. So I'll see you in just a minute. I really wanted to use Charm Person on her and see if I could like lure her and like bribe her into just being a crewmate and just giving us the magic yeah. items, which I could still try. I just didn't yeah. want to do it because Chris had to go, so I didn't want to make it any longer than it had she to be. She looked a bitch though. <laughs> it's funny. I was like, I'm not a bard. The bards are always supposed to be like the horny ones. Yeah. I had to dial it back. Otherwise, I would totally use Charm Person. I'm glad that I'm starting to like understand how to properly use my character. Yeah. We did a I lot today. I want to keep going is, so bad. My character is low-key nuts. At cer in certain situations. My character only. is great now that I actually have health. My character is like... My character is really good in like specific scenarios. And I just need to get... I just need to work... Or we can save some of our stuff for talking, I think. Yeah. I mean, this is recorded right now, too. Oh yeah. Okay. I think the more I play with with my character, like the the easier it is to gonna be to like figure out the right usage and scenarios to like do yeah. do things in. Cause same, like same for me. They have every character is like D and D is made so well that like all the characters. Every every style of character has a, has stuff that they do well, and they always have something to balance it. Like my guy yeah, has like yeah. low health, but I have like crazy abilities and shit. Yeah, oh my god, he's back. <laughs> All right, welcome to our after party. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to uh, D and D uh, episode uh, episode four to seven after party. Yeah, with Daniel Is it four going to seven down. Or five to Five, seven, five, five to six seven. And seven. Five, six, and seven. We need a after party. Daniel on an elevator. We need a funky, gunky, fucking um, name for this segment. Yeah, oh, he's losing connection because he's on a fucking elevator <laughs> <laughs> to go on the bike in the laundry room. <laughs> it's just frozen on his face. <laughs> It's funny. It's so good. Now it's gone. I can hear like the elevator beeping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can. I can also. Oh, there we go. I don't even know if I want to do that. It might not be worth. The elevator. <laughs> the not the elevator. The um. The bike. The bike. Yeah, it's like it's late. I'm not doing that. Okay, I'll skip today. That's fine. Are you going back up then? It's literally 2.30. I'm not. Yeah. It is 2.30. <laughs> he went down to go back up. <laughs> no more elevator. Jesus That's Christ. a loud ass fucking Sorry, elevator. Man. Holy shit. No, it, it's, fine. it's just hey. funny. It's just funny how loud the elevator is. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying to Brayden, like... I, I wish I used Charm Person on her. To try to like get her to join us and just get free magic items, but I know Chris had to go, and I know you probably didn't want us to do that either. <laughs> Plus, I don't yeah. know if it would have worked. And it would have been a that would have been a really easy way for us to for her to get immediately hate us. Yeah, like we are gonna get magic items if we do this thing. And I mean, yeah, but also them. like the king wants us to get the magic items, yeah. and like is dumb as fuck anyway, so. I don't know. Yeah. I had that. I love the king. The king of Alertos. Just an absolutely huge, jovial guy. Always at throwing parties. Drunk. Does not care about running his country in the slightest. Just has dinner parties every night and does not fucking care. Fucking stupid, too. Even, even the mayor yeah. is smarter than him. There's a reason why he appointed mayors to run everything for and him. Instead of actually running anything himself. Dumb too. Yeah, the he them. Hey, at least we got like militaries, but we didn't get any gold. Yeah, but I mean, we have a lot of gold. We just need a lot yeah. more if we want our own yeah. ship. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we kind of already have our own ship and crew for free. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they'll just give. They'll take us wherever we want to go. But the I do think it'd be giving... cool to, to get a ship. Yeah. So the problem with giving like gold. Is that the more gold I give, the less it actually means, like the less True. valuable it becomes to get gold. 
or something. Yeah, true. Because like we have a, at a thousand, and you're like, oh, you get forty gold. We're like, oh shit, that's fucking nothing. When yeah. in reality, yeah, like, that's that's a pretty that's a decent lot. bit of gold. Yeah, we just got like six hundred um, and four hundred. Yeah. So I, I need to find like a good opportunity for it to be spent, like something worthwhile. Or maybe yeah. like instead of us getting gold to spend on the ship, it's more like we get gifted a ship. Yeah. That might work. I mean, better. yeah, you, you got the ship from Alutharis. Yeah, but it's not like yeah. ours. We don't like own it's just it. Under, it's under your command. True. Yeah. yeah. Fair well, enough. Maybe he'll gift it to us after. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we just would get the ship at the end almost. Cause, yeah. Or we just buy a ship or something. Yeah. Or we just like add on to this one. I was very in intrigued about the um, the, coast. the the new Air Genasi character. Yeah, potentially yeah. being added in. That was a cool That's lore. like a whole you new know? lore update for my character. My character had like crazy lore updates this like yeah. this session, really good, just really like good. fucking wild lore that no one else had. I I dealt with the ghosts already before everyone. I was oh, yeah. for that one the one dude. The, the when you describe, when you described him, I immediately pictured him like a Jawa from fucking Star Wars, <laughs> like, yeah. like, 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 but but not that small, but like taller, but like just cloaked like with like the little orbs, like some weird fucking like little Jawa. I just wanted guy. to have a weird guy. Yeah, he like, was, he was definitely a weird guy. <laughs> he just was kind of there, like funny, just like a funny weird guy who was just like up to something. It's like, what's this guy doing here? Yeah, that's good. You want to know something funny? Yeah. Uh, in all the improv I've been doing, um, the well, you don't know who they are yet, but the uh, the other one that the duck mentioned mm -hmm. was not part of it. Ah, uh, yeah. I you mentioned that for like a split second because I was like, oh, I got new lore that Daniel that like got yeah, added, so, and Daniel so that, was like, oh yeah, it didn't just get added though. So you've always planned on there being another. Yeah. That, that's actually a pretty old yeah. piece of lore. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like at one point we talked about if there was another. I don't. I don't know if this is from if you added that from what we talked about, Daniel. But I remember when I made my character, you mentioned like or one of us. I think you mentioned something about like maybe I was I would be like trying to put together like yeah, like I, I not really put back together the order that I had was that like my family was in and all, but like try to find like the if there was anybody left so yeah. like that that's cool that that is like a whole new lore element not new lore element i guess but like just addition new, to you new for my character i guess yeah. Yeah. Getting I mean, deeper. yeah the deep shadow lore dude mm -hmm. um brady what was you were you said there's one thing you wanted to ask about if you want to i don't remember Oh, <laughs> great! Oh, yeah. What I was gonna say though is you—you you mentioned you were like, "Oh yeah, I have other." I didn't even get to use all my spells for Corneth. <laughs> oh was like, yeah, that's funny as that's crazy. <laughs> oh, I think I was gonna ask. Oh no, I don't remember. <sighs> I love Corneth. Did Corneth have like hella other stuff that he was gonna do? Yeah. Or like well, could have I mean, done, not was gonna do, but could. Did we like done, actually but... do well against him, or like? Oh, you did great against Corn. Okay. You, you kicked his ass. Okay. Uh, he had a bunch of magic. Uh, he didn't use all his spells, but I think he used a good number of them. So I thought it felt pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it felt pretty pretty balanced. I imagined him as like a. He did have a little more cipher power, from but... Gravity Falls, almost like the way that he was like pointing to people and stuff was happening, or he would just like put his hand out and like put a wall up as i tried to attack like that's he just was that that it was actually um, sick uh i was maybe thinking of having him do this but there wasn't really enough time in the battle with how low his health was and i just decided like nah he won't cast yeah, that how much health did he have overall um i think i actually oh, i don't remember okay but he had like a he had like a good bank of it Probably like over a hundred. No, not that much. Oh, okay. 
All right, yeah, anyway, what was the spell? What were you saying? Uh, I was planning on having him cast Greater Invisibility on himself. Oh, my God. <laughs> so one of the things he would have been able to do is both turn invisible and fly. He also never used Fireball. I mean, I could have used Earthbind on him then if he tried flying. That's pretty big for him. Sure, yeah. But I don't know if I would be able to use it because I wouldn't be able to see him. You also had like another good two usages of Counterspell. Yeah, and I was going to try and blind him as well because then I figured maybe he'd be at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that, would be if, I, don't know, I don't know if you'd say that that would, that would count or not because he can't really see where we are, but he could hear us. Yeah, that counts. But I could also double cast it and use blindness and deafness and basically just have him be like nothing. I don't know. I could, try, I, could try, I could try to use that later. Yeah. I need to like build up better spells that are more like rounded. Because like right now my main spells are like Thunder Wave and uh what's the fire one I was using? Burning, Burning hands. hands. Burning Hands and Thunder Wave are my main ones. I just got counter spell, so that'll be pretty useful. But like right now those are my main good. like two to attack is Thunder Wave and Burning Hands. But I like detect detect thoughts has done a lot for me as well. So, but I also have things like shape water, mold earth, and like fire bolt and stuff that I haven't been able to use yet. Those are always uh, fun. and control those, those flames. Fun, yeah. So I basically have all of the ones that like I can just take an, an element of the world that's there and use because I have shape. I have shape water, mold earth, and control flames. <laughs> Who's doing the Avatar: The Last Airbender build? Literally, <laughs> literally, I didn't even realize that. You just literally. turned yourself into. That's kind of smart, though, because like if there's fire, I can use it. If there's water, I can use it. And if there's earth, I can use it. Which there's always going to be at least one. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. And it's a cantrip, so I don't have. To, it doesn't cost me anything. Exactly. It's rather great. Yeah, you can do a lot with them. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was I was glad to be starting to use my levitate more this episode, like this this yeah. session, because I don't it's think I really cool. used it. I didn't really use it at all. Yeah, last so. time, but last couple of times, but I think mm -hmm. it's it's like a very it was very helpful. Yeah, I like the movable rod. Yeah, the that, bringing, that, bringing that bringing that back. I again. love that. Yeah, because remember we the first campaign we played was we used that to um we like threw the witch into like her oven and then trapped yeah. the rod and she couldn't get out. Because it's so fun. I love the immovable rod. I, I try and incorporate it's, it everywhere I can. It's funny because it doesn't seem like it'd be that useful. But then, like, it just it's really great. is. It, like, really yeah, it, is. Because <laughs> you, you can use it for anything. Because yeah. you can... It's like you can create... You just have to be creative. Like, yeah. Yeah. You can literally create yeah. something that cannot be moved. So, like... Yeah, like, you jumping out the window and using it to, like, keep yourself up in just the middle of the yeah. air was, like... Yeah. It's sick. Speaking of that moment, I'm so glad you got to meet the ghost. Yeah. <laughs> I had thought of that a bit ago. And I was like, man... I really want a haunted mansion plot line. Would we have gotten like in trouble for trying to go in there or no? We would have gotten like a talking to, but I don't think but, like they wouldn't have, they, they wouldn't have like hated us. Because originally I thought they were like trying to hide something from us and not like ghosts, yeah. but they're like straight up just trying to hide like some like secret bad thing or something. Yeah, yeah. Or like maybe there was rot growing in there and they were trying to mm -hmm. keep keep it away. To yeah. not make people panic, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I just really wanted to have a mansion with ghosts in it. Yeah. Is it just the one I ghost, love... or is there like... I guess you said it was a party, so there's probably multiple. Yeah, there probably yeah, is fine. multiple. Yeah, that's where we're headed oh, to next. God. We're going to have to figure out how really, to fight them, this. too, because you can't really stab a ghost, can you? Yeah. D&D, mm -hmm. you can stab anything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I wanted to... I'll probably be most useful. The process was just... Man, wouldn't it be really cool if we had, like, a Ghostbuster segment where like a rich dude hires them to like bust some ghosts that are in his mansion so i watched a whole bunch of like haunted mansion movies and then took a bunch of ideas from that that's good it's actually sick so that's i'm gonna plan. try and add some yeah wait, so, was, so, like, so was that planned then to like for that us to run into that but like were you planning it in terms of like that location or you're just planning it to happen at some point 
Uh, I was, I knew I wanted to have a haunted manor. Uh, and that kind of presented itself and I was like, okay, yeah, this is a good spot for the haunted manor. And it yeah. makes sense enough. Yeah. Did you, how much did you prepare in terms of us going to greater Alertos? And then also prior to that, like going to, fuck, what's the, to, to like my home. I forget what it's called. Rodonis? Yeah. To the Order of Dragon area. Actually, Rodonis was all planned. Okay. I knew Rodonis. I knew everything that was there. I knew Alutharis would be there. I knew, had a pretty I basically decided he was gonna give you a ship that you could use. Um and oh look at who it is. The duck pond was not planned, nor was the library. Yeah, I wrote gotcha. down duck pond as something mm. that I wanted to talk about because I thought that was like a really funny just like yeah. little thing that I want more of that, just like some goofy shit. Yeah. Okay. What were you Are expecting you going... us to do after that? Like after being there, where were you expecting us to go to? Were you expecting us to do Greater Alertos? Were you expecting? I us was to go not to expecting like... Greater Alertos at all. <laughs> I was expecting y'all to go to um, Salvation the Island. Sanctuary, or no, go go to Salvation Island, or one of the other cities. Yeah. But I was not expecting. So it was like most of Greater Alertos like improv then. I mean, the like, giant sorta. king. The giant king was not improv. I, I, he was something I pre-made. Okay. Um, the 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 Tim gag was also not improv. That was good. I because I, like I made three islands and I was like, uh, "Who's the mayor of these islands?" <laughs> With it, Timothy, Tim, me, and Tim. The longer their name is, the larger the island. Brad, you'll have to control. be a Tim if you want to take over that land. Yeah. You can yeah, legally, change, legally your change your name. Yeah. And change your name to Timmy. That'd be funny. Uh, I am exhausted. It's Chris, so do you, you have any questions from this campaign that you were like, oh, that happened? That you're unexpecting? That's going to be a no. Uh, yeah. Why'd you have the duck attack me? Because you because you rolled low on like animal handling, yeah. and it'd be funny. He's embarrassed. It's embarrassing. Uh... It is, it's but it's funny. Sad. You got to Wait, what's the joke? Duck. Wait, I do have a question. Was the dragon uh, joke thing? Was that was, was that improv, or did you just like actually have? Oh, I had like the oh. vague idea of what if it was a dragon that just wanted you to tell it a joke. Uh, what if the joke was bad? Yeah. I don't know. He or if he didn't tell a joke. I don't know. He would just killed you or something. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh That's funny. What, about, what about the the like airship that, that was like destroyed? Oh, uh, that was improv. Um, I wanted something to foreshadow. Uh, and I also wanted to, like, introduce how dangerous Captain Fetu was. Gotcha. So I was like, oh, yeah, sure, put that there. Yeah, that was good. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, were you expecting us to heal the guy and take him on board, or were you expecting him to just, like, die? I was kind of expecting him to be dying exposition guy. <laughs> ah. Uh, and but now kinda, he's like, alive. I kind of like... Now he's living like, exposition I, guy. I saved him. Now he's living, so... There's gotta be cool. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do with him. Never mind. I know what's happening. Oh god, he's gonna be oh, dying dear exposition god, guy he's again. Dead. He is dying exposition <laughs> guy. Literally, I think I know what else I can do with the him. The whole point of him being alive is just to die dramatically. He's gonna, yeah. he's gonna get like his eyes and ears stabbed out next. I'm gonna have to heal him twice no, or yeah. some shit. <laughs> yeah, it's literally just gonna be like a not again. And then I'm gonna come he's over and be like, come on. <laughs> I'll just use my spell again. I like being able to like know my spells more and actually like using them in like yeah. ways that probably wouldn't be expected. I guess. Yeah. Spells are fun. Spells they are, are cool. fun. They are fun. <laughs> it's definitely a more that interesting feast. way of doing Maybe. things rather than just like so stabbing. Fun. The feast made you hungry. I'm so hungry right now. So 
Wait, so Daniel, for the for leveling up, was that like where are you gonna you were gonna have us level up always, or? I mean, I kind of had the idea that you were should probably level up soon. And then I just like big piece of shit out of it. Yeah, it 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 felt like you just completed like a story arc. You beat a boss. You're starting a new adventure. Big things are coming, and you just roll up nat twenty and are talking about trying to improve yourself. So it's it feels like the right moment. So I just yeah. go ahead. And... Mm-hmm. <laughs> what were you, what would you have done in that moment if I didn't get a nat twenty in terms of the sorcery reading and also the the rot reading? Because I I don't know how much the rot reading really like served though. Like, do you think that's that's like super useful information? I guess in a way. Yeah, I mean, now you know where the core is and where you need to go to fight this thing. That's true. Like, before you just knew I had to defeat this nebulous threat, yeah. but now you know what you have to defeat and where it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now the problem is just getting to it. And not dying. That's true. Being powerful enough. Yeah. We we still got to level up a good amount before we're... Yeah, probably able really to i'm already at 50 health which is like insane from 37 for me <laughs> i wasn't expecting yeah. that i will say that was like unexpected because I, I thought i was just gonna forever be like low health andy like dying every three seconds <laughs> every battle is fucking dying yeah you get like a good amount yeah but you that still was, have that was good. less but and we having less is kind of like now. how it works the healing, the healing really. potions was a good Good idea. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, good that's thing definitely that more gonna... useful than like gold because I feel like with gold yeah. I'd be less inclined to want to buy that kind of stuff. But also, if we're on Greater Alertos, we could end up buying some stuff there too. Yeah. After after we get the magic items. I think I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and give you all more like knickknacks and fun stuff rather than just money. Yeah, yeah I like yeah, that. That'd be good. Like give things, us money, things... We just had to argue instead. Like, th- yeah. well, I guess more or less, like, things that we could get from buying, but, like, instead of buying them, we just get them. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. Daniel, what did you think when Brady and Brady started arguing about the goals? That was funny. Lads. That was, that was, fun. that was so funny. That was Lads. so fun, dude. That was fucking hilarious. This is, this is the thing. We, we argue shit. so much, and it's brought into D&D now. Yeah. yeah <laughs> but, like... Because you were just being Loki, greedy, I was and mixed. I was like, I was, like, I was bro. mixed on being greedy and also like playing it off as my character. But like, I also was kind of being greedy. For I didn't care. I didn't care greedy. until you were until you started getting all dramatic. Because I was like, I was like, fine. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I was and like. Then, and then you were like, like, no, you know what, take your four hundred. And I was like, <laughs> that's, what, that's when I was like, you know, what, I'm gonna make it like character wise too. Like I was. I realized yeah. like it kind of would be fun if I did it like also as my character. Yeah, doing I mean it like, kind of fits mine too, considering I'm used to having the power. Yeah, yeah just at least me. like the over people. Just stayed out of it and just mm-hmm. sit there. It's yeah. like it was pretty fun. I didn't even get anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, don't know. I don't really care if I'm being honest. It was just fun. To yeah, I mean, <laughs> in the end, we're all gonna use it anyway. So. Yeah, I like I really don't care because we're gonna use the money. <laughs> I just like having it anyway. on me because I get to just like throw it around. I get to just be like, you get gold, you get gold. <laughs> I feel like we've always been like that in all of our campaigns, though. We're always Every just like, giving shit like, away. Yeah. Specifically, Brady, have always been. <laughs> but even gold even in the first one that we played, we were like, yo, can we just like give this guy gold yeah. for fun? <laughs> yeah, we're like, like, can we just like fuck the economy? <laughs> destroy the economy, yes. That's basically Bigger. all we do. Like like uh, uh, Bob Fishman now is like super rich. <laughs> He's not super rich. Well, he's like he's like, like he's like pretty pretty wealthy just from us giving him like combine yeah. of what like. I mean, I gold. think he was he was. You, yeah. Daniel said he was pretty rich. He's already wealthy, general. yeah. But now he's really wealthy because we but gave we've, him probably yeah, like we've 40 given gold. him like 30, 40 gold. Because we gave him a lot of we gave him a lot of gold for the fish initially, and then we gave him gold because we stayed at his house, and then we just gave him gold just to give him gold. <laughs> yeah, Bob Fishman, he's on the up and up. You don't know how powerful he's going to become. He is. He's. I can't believe he left us and won't go with yeah. us. He's going to be some fucking master like warlock by the time we go back. Yeah, watch he's it. Like, he like was lying to us when we go back. He's like, yeah, so I know you need us now and need me now. He's like, you didn't need me before, but now you need me. And he's actually just a fucking warlock. 
Yeah, he's like a <laughs> That'd be sick. That'd be fucking legend. sick. Legend. Who knows? You know, that was a good... Like, I like that. I thought that, was that was fun. I wanted to keep show. going, but yeah, it is 3 a.m. Right, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed the campaign or this, this session. I wasn't sure if yeah. y'all were totally on board. No, it's no I'm having a lot of fun. Like this, I feel like I'm more intrigued after this because of oh, all yeah. like, the lore stuff yeah, that got too. added this episode. And now we have or potential magic session. items and stuff. And the only thing is, like, I'm always so lost on where where to go next. And then we do go, yeah. and then I'm, like, re-intrigued. But what I'm thinking mm -hmm. now is, like, well, what do we do after this? But then you throw something at us, or we show up somewhere, and then there's something else to do. Yeah. Which is the thing. Like, even, because we, we were really on... Daniel's really good with, like, giving us stuff yeah. that we can, like, go and do. Because we were on, um, I, I keep forgetting what it's called, but the place where the order is. Uh, Radonis? Yeah, we were on Radonis, and I was like, well, where are we going to go from here? And then we went to Greater Alertos, and then you gave us a whole new thing to do. And then now we leave Greater Alertos. So we're gonna go somewhere else and have a whole new thing to do, plus something on the way. So, yeah, there's always like something to do, which is nice. Which is it, like I'm always like, where is this gonna go? And then we get somewhere and it goes, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> very good. Cool. So, but yeah, I'm always very excited to see what happens next and stuff. Thank you. I'm I'm glad people are still on board with the story that I'm cooking up. Oh, I'm, yeah. I yeah, totally this is. Board. It's a very oh, good story. I it's a fun so one. I'm so tired during the end of these videos, and I don't want it yeah. to look, look drained. I, I, I always mean, we could so start great. doing them earlier. I'm totally down to do like really long sessions because like this. I is think a lot maybe of fun. once um, like I could totally do like five hour session if you guys would want. Like I I'm down for that, but I don't know if you guys are. Maybe when we're back for the summer, like when. I was say maybe for the summer, but. No, we yeah, when we, we can actually can do in, in person, person long in person, like, I think long in person sessions would be. We definitely really gotta fun. do some like at the Poconos. Yeah, totally I'd different. That, game. that would be sick. Because if totally we did, different game. If we did it in person, we could just set up a thing, camera and then like, just like just play, and we can anytime we like want to get a break, we could get food. I feel and, like we'd be way more into it too because we would be like. We could like totally just go full into our character because it would just be us together. Yeah. And we could really get. That's it. what I want. That's, That's what I want to more often. To, and like, if Brayden's being like a bitch, I could just be like, "Fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> my fucking money." Yeah. yeah. I want to get more. I want to do more into. Like, and we could use like real character. dice as well. I want to use. I have. I have real dice that I want to use. Yeah. No, I'm like so excited. I don't know how how long. I don't know how long we expect the campaign to be. But, like, my thing is I almost feel like we're, like, rushing through it right now because, like, we already are on the mission of going to the rot. But there's also a lot of steps we have to take before then to get to mm -hmm. that point, yeah. I presume. Yeah. Plus, the I've whole, the whole rot thing will probably up. take for a while. I'm wondering if there's any more. I would almost, I mean, like, I'm wondering, but also I think it'd be kind of nice if there was, like, a maybe a <laughs> subplot that's, like, not super small, but, like, not huge, but, like, maybe, like, a mid-sized subplot. Okay. That's like I feel like a part of the rock. We have our subplots too, though, that we need to figure out. Yeah. If I you mean, ever want to start, you have. Or, I guess you have I a do. subplot, but like, I feel like Chris and I don't. I could create one, but like, I think it'd be kind of well. Yeah. Daniel kind of created Braden's subplot, but like, I think it'd be kind of cool if we had like another mission to do that was like unrelated to the rot that was like kind of important. Yeah, I feel like we we coincided cooking up this. Know, it could, it could be cool. That I've had the idea that I've owned a dragon, but I lost it, and I would want to find it. Ooh. Okay. I mean, you are a dragon, too. Yeah. Yeah. You're okay. seeking your dragon. Mm -hmm. It would be interesting to see, I guess, me maybe become more of, like, an advanced sorcerer or something. Because mm -hmm. don't I also, like, not know my family? Um, You know your family. They're just, like... or I, 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 I don't know. What was your... Because you only said that like my, that Alutharis was like a distant was like a like a close relative. I feel yeah. Like, wait, there's nothing else really ever said about my family other than like my sibling that got killed by the rot. I assume they're also order members, or look, some of them maybe have decided that they don't want to do that and they're just doing something else. Yeah, but like I have nothing in here about anyone else in my family other <laughs> than my sibling. Parents, honestly, it could be a little. I have nothing in mind about like, my family. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, your family got fucking, <laughs> fucking. They got fucking blue, brutally 
fucking murdered. Total fantasy. Oh my fucking god. Is this a spoiler? No, this isn't a spoiler. I guess I'm... I guess he's a subplot. Oh, he's definitely a subplot. That, yeah, that, that, that's that's what I was thinking of. That's like our that's like a good subplot. Yeah, Captain Co. So is a sub, excited to subplot. see more. That's I think yeah, that's mid, what I bro. meant by like there being like a mid sized subplot that's like separate from the raw, but still like like a battle and like evil. Unless they're not they're... Separate, unless they're not separate from the raw, but I don't if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, like it's, like it's not fully raw based. Like uh, it's, it's it's stuff that Braden's up to. Yeah, yeah. And well, I, I, I think it'll it'll kind of yeah. move into like us as a whole group, though. I feel like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah, we'd have to fight them together on our ship and stuff because you wouldn't yeah. be able to take that alone. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to see more of Koafetu because yeah, that's like my whole character's like backstory is that he like used to. Used to be him. a part of their crew, and I've he, got like, a whole thing cooked up for that. I wonder if you could like got... infiltrate and oh, like act God. as if you're still in it and be like, "I'm back." Maybe, honestly, but I, I, I don't remember. know if your name would be around too much for it to happen. Well, yeah, he was based on like the lore. He was like one of like the right hand man men of like. Yeah. Koafetu himself because Koafetu had hit, took him as like a son or something. Oh well, yeah. I would like so. to find like a engineer or someone who could like advance our ship as well with like mm. other other things that way we have like maybe more not firepower but like more to hold us against him when we do run into him if we are on the ship. I think your character would probably know especially because you started in the Grand Reef. The major center for airship development and technology and building stuff is the Grand Reef. Gotcha. Well, I guess we'll go there next. That or Salvation yeah. Island, but we could do that next or something. Yeah. Because I remember our first campaign, we had like some guy that we got on our ship that just did like a shit ton of upgrades to it. Hell yeah! Like, he, made it, he, made boat, he made it. He made our boat. He made our boat like fly and like have guns and shit. Yeah. When there like wasn't guns, like dude like invented guns. <laughs> yeah. He invented shit just to fucking put it yeah. on our boat. I remember that like guy. Stu stuff like that. Like if we could start doing things like that too, it'd be kind of fun. I've got. I do have some stuff that's like kind of completely unrelated to anything. I just thought it was cool, and you're probably never going to see it. Oh. Um. And it's. I, I like those things. That you, I do like those things though. If you throw them in there, it'd be fun. Yeah. Because I feel like oh, we're pretty I random really... people, so like if you threw it in, we'd be like, "Fuck yeah!" Like a duck pond, like yeah. duck pond. I mean, I do. I have like one thing that's just really awesome in my brain, but I don't think we're actually gonna see it. Oh. We'll see if it shows up, but I almost, I almost hope it doesn't because of how deranged, like dangerous it would be if that oh, dropped is this in. This gonna be like that fucking carnival thing that we had in the first one. <laughs> I remember that. Dude, I, I, I have like thing. nightmares. Like Love just it. thinking about that like freaks me out. That was terrible. Thank you for reminding like, me. Like a of fleshy the eye girl. cube and shit. Like, nah. Oh, and they were they were like, oh, it's so. you. And they, oh my god, nah, nah. That was that was terrible. That, 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 that actually shit. that actually creeped me out. I was sitting alone in my basement at night at like two in the morning. And like, <laughs> there you're like, there's creepy clowns and shit. I'm like, nah, bro, get out of here. The and then they just like disappeared. It like, was creepy. It was creepy. I remember dude. that was really creepy. Hell yeah. Anyway, yeah, that freaked me the fuck out. Thank you. We got ghosts. Now. I do get like super into the campaigns too. It's almost like storytelling, except you're part of it, and I, yeah. I absolutely it love it. Because like in your mind, yeah. you're basically just picturing it, and to me, it's like yeah, the whole that's, story. That's my favorite. My which, favorite part is I get like when when you talk and stuff, you're like, oh, you see like this stuff. I look. I picture it and I'm like, I see that in my yeah. head right now. I mean, we and probably I... all have different visions, but when he said, like, yeah. the modern Visions Victorian up, room, say, yeah. like, I'm imagining, mm -hmm. like, the hallway to the door with the guy outside with the building and the library yeah. bookshelves, the, the every, like, yeah, I had, like, a whole of the, the temple and stuff that we fought, that we yeah. fought the, um, the guy that we fought, Corneth just... and everything. I had a whole image of the temple in my head and everything. It's just funny like how he was... we all are doing the same story, but we probably are all perceiving it so differently. Oh, yeah. definitely, yeah. But that's so that's cool the best to part. me. 
but i also that's yeah. why i wanted to record it so bad is because like i always feel like i ask people ask me they're like well what is dnd and it's like I mean, it's it's just like storytelling that you're part of. Like, yeah. I don't I don't really yeah. know, but it's like it, I like recording it because people could totally want. To, I could understand people wanting to watch this and just listen yeah. to the storytelling and just almost imagine because they can because they can imagine their own their own yeah, like and version not part of it. it. But just like even just listening to it could be so cool. Like especially as someone who doesn't really know D and D, and that could be like your gateway in. Mm-hmm. It's just it's really it really is it is fucking cool as shit. And people always are like, well, what is it? And I'm like. I don't know, because also like Stranger Things made it seem like it was a fucking board game, which it kind of just like isn't. Yeah, like it's not always. It's it's like whatever you want it to be. Like it doesn't. It's whatever you want, and especially with with, like someone like you as a DM, just like coming up with like the greatest shit, and then like on the spot. That's why. That's why. Also, you also you also like understand us, so you understand what we want to do and what we want, and like, like. Yeah, you make it that way, like, we actually enjoy it, and it's not like, oh, no, you're fucking dying here because I want you to die. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. It's good. I'm trying. No, it's good, though. What are you going to say, Brian? Daniel's definitely cut you off. Good. Oh, um, people are like, because I was, I forget who I was talking to, but they were talking about D&D, and they were like, they were mentioning, like, they talked about their ass if there was, like, actual, like, storylines and stuff and i was like no the dm mostly just kind of like makes stuff makes up. up yeah so like people i've talked to think like i think there is like some set out D like there is, campaigns yeah. that you can run but like i feel like those are less fun than just like coming up with your completely own like yeah story that you just think up. like in my head it's basically just like a fucking book that you're reading it's like an yeah. audio book which honestly it'd be kind of sick if like since we recorded the whole campaign, if at the end you just turned it into a book, because mm-hmm. you could, you yeah. totally could just turn it into a fucking book story, cooking up a wacky like story. Like you actually yeah, could, like... like you literally could, and be like, oh yeah. yeah. So then they went, to the two of them went to the duck pond. The other one split off. Well, at the duck, like you could literally just turn it into a fucking book. Like at the it's end like of this, it's... I think that would be kind of cool if we turned it into a book. It's, it's, it's to be like D and D has always been like a collaborative storytelling. Yeah. So like the D yeah the DM that'd be, has that'd be like kind of sick if every every like season. Story. Yeah, that'd be kind of sick if every season we just took all the videos and like wrote it into like a book format and turned it into just a fucking book. Maybe. That'd be, be kind of that'd be would be kind of cool. Sure. You could just be like the Ath my archipelago, the book. <laughs> That would just be the there's, there's infinite D and D possibilities. And then it's literally, literally, it's, literally just, it's literally just a fantasy book. Yeah, it's, I think it's what's like, especially nice is that genuinely anything can happen with video games. Like, there's only a certain number of things and dialogue that gets programmed into yeah. it. But with D and D, you can always have more worlds to explore and more stuff to happen. Yeah, yeah. I genuinely it's like, like at the end of this. Anywhere on the, the... Story. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about the book thing, I genuinely at the end of this might actually transcribe it into a book. Just, yeah. just, just cause I feel like that'd be fucking sick. Mm-hmm. Especially if it like pops off on YouTube, but you just sell it as a book. That'd be so funny. I just think it'd be cool because then like like my girlfriend loves reading books, and she'd probably rather do that than like watch our campaign. But then also you like you're el- eliminating the fact of like our input and us talking randomly. So then yeah. it's just like straight up just an actual story because you're eliminating like yeah. our part of it and it just turn you turn up what we do and you just it just happened, which would be. Cool. I'm, uh, mm-hmm. I'm excited uh, to just like it's just been really fun and I'm I'm I'm. I'm having a I lot just love, of fun. I love our I basically want to do I want to do this like every fucking week now. Like not even. I would do it more than every yeah. I would do it more than every week. I do it like 3 days a week, 5 hours a day. Like shit. I would if I could just play D&D just full-time D&D. Yeah. If I could run D&D for people as a job, I would. That Can is my nice favorite thing to do in the world. Just paid hourly as a DM, you get like 40 bucks an hour to be a DM. That'd be crazy. <laughs> that would be nuts. So they go, like, like infinite shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. I love 
I just I love our D and D campaigns. Just with yeah, the second one like kind of fell off, but that's just because we didn't really play it, and I wasn't I was pretty. Absent you didn't do it. any of them, yeah. Yeah, I just I never showed shit. up, and then Chris didn't. Chris really didn't do show much for up. the first one, but for the the, the second, second one, one yeah. it was me and Chris mostly, and I wasn't but there. We we didn't really do anything with it, so we never got far enough to like yeah to actually get into a story and i feel bad that sense. like you came up with that whole one and then we just never played it but i'm glad that we're back yeah, on it fine. i can always recycle it for later anyway yeah. true true you can't I realize like... it for parts <laughs> i feel like i don't know i've i've much more limited dming obviously because i just did the one shot but i feel like half the fun was just like cooking up some like lore for a, a world yeah like, definitely just cooking up like lore is f- so much fun you just like make up some weird thing and then like figure out why and then you just stick it in the world somewhere and wait for them to stumble across it. Yeah. That's what I that's what I do sometimes with like the maps that I make. I just make maps and then cook up a lore for the <laughs> the map and then just be like, Well, time for the next one and just move on. Because like yeah. making lore is like as fun as like actually I would in wanna, most scenarios. I would wanna try to DM, but I think I would just be bad because i can't come up with the shit well, you gotta give, give it a try at some point yeah yeah oh also in the summer yeah, i already said shot. this but i really want to do like improv shit with like an in person yeah. like actual just like regular ass improv shit oh good could be fun, yeah. could be fun to like just set up a camera and basically do like improv challenges as if we're front in front of an audience but the audience yeah. is just the, the youtube <laughs> mm-hmm just have just we'll, we'll throw in a things. laugh track. <laughs> we'll like it's hold up just cards. like the Bing Bong theory. It'll be like Shrek will hold up cards that says like laugh now. <laughs> exactly. It's the, the method. That'll be good. No, uh, I'm excited to cook up some shit this summer. And also just, yeah, in general, just to play more D&D. But yeah, I mean right now we've done what, three so Fridays fun. in a row. We're like like yeah. one Friday and then we did we did two Fridays in a row. The other one we took a little bit of time. Yeah, like, oh. oh sorry, I'm just looking at the time. No, you're good. We've got I I'm gonna only be here for like two more Fridays and then I'm home. Oh, I'm yeah. here for like another month and a half. But once yeah. I'm home, I'm yeah. gonna be honest, I would do this during the week fucking at any time. Yeah. Also and I, I Brady obviously is I am I'm normally pretty pretty free though. Okay. Um but what was I going to say? Yeah, but we could totally start cooking up just regular videos, like Sea of Thieves and shit. And then also, like, um, just doing shit, hanging out. And I can come home any weekend if we wanted to go to the Poconos. We can go multiple times. I don't care. I will go multiple times. What the? What did I just do? What was that? Oh, wait, do that again. Wait, do it again. Do the thumbs up. Do the thumbs up. Go like that. Oh, I thought that's what did it. Oh, my God. It is. What? What is this? What? Wait, they don't do that. I, it's got to be the iPhone, right? It's got to be an it's iPhone be thing. The... Yeah, because that's the I iPhone. Mobile power 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 Wait, that's, that's sick. That is so sick. That's crazy. That one movie from the 90s was right. D&D oh, does turn, you know, make you, you turn know, into an actual wizard. Yeah, you know, it'd be a good, fo- like a, fo- or I was thinking of a funny short that we could do, or like a video that we could turn into shorts, mm-hmm. is like D&D expectation versus reality. So like what people expect and then like what it actually is, but like yeah. in like, a, in like an over over funny like matter of like the expectation is like us like physically fighting dragons and then the reality is just us sitting around a table arguing about gold or like shit like that. Yeah. Like it'd be it'd be funny. Uh, can I steal? Can I steal his kneecaps or shit like that? <laughs> just fuck it. As like and the then, reality. And just look at us and like, fuck. no. <laughs> can you roll yeah. and learn to feed ducks? Yeah. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be funny. I think that would or, be a sick. Like ass another video. thing yeah. that'd be funny for like a video is like acting out our our like D and D like a D and D thing, mm-hmm. like something that happened is like but like actually acting out as our characters, like taking mm-hmm. a, a part from our D and D campaign and yeah. just actually acting it out because it would be mm-hmm. so scuffed. And I always had a tier list of like all the if after after this campaign if we play like a whole nother campaign. Like after that, we yes. can do all the all the characters from the yes. one shots and from the one shots and the um 
D the D other camp, campaign like the campaigns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the D D character tier list. Oh my yeah. god, that's hilarious. Yeah. Mezwar S Mezwar. Yeah, our yeah. channel literally just becomes a fucking D and D channel. Dude, I, oh. <laughs> I I don't know if I ever I don't know if I ever mentioned, but I don't I'm pretty sure Nezwar I just like I was not he was not a character. He yeah, got, I just made him up. From. It's like He's just like fish, half because wherever I forget wherever you guys got him from was like you were supposed to like do something you were supposed to like do something there. Oh, yeah, he was like a bad but, guy. Like, yeah. And we but just, you like, guys just like him. turned him good. <laughs> you like kidnapped him and turned him good. And I was not like ex I was not that was not supposed to happen. Who am I to stop it from happening? <laughs> like the amount of times that we've just like done something and then just been like, yeah, this is right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's I, so fun. I, I, it's so it's, it's so, so fun. fun. I've been having a great time as well. Like sometimes I'm just like chilling and then I'll think of something and I'll be like, ooh, I could put that in the game. I just hate being tired, man. Yeah, good. We, maybe we should wrap this up. We should get some sleep. Yeah. yeah. This fucking talk has been as long as a session of D and D. Yeah, but we'll probably cut out most of it because a lot of it yeah. wasn't exactly about the campaign. When do you think? Uh, when do you think the the first episode is going to go up? This do you have any sort of tomorrow. idea? <gasps> what the fuck? Today. 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 Oh shit! Like, yeah. At three. I gotta check that out. Yeah, I struggle yeah, with the first episode. The second episode is gonna be rough too, because remember how I said that the file was like corrupted? Yeah. Uh, when yeah. I got it back, um, I was missing like the a little bit of the intro, which we where we refilmed, and I also missed the fight that we did in the bottom of the ship against those like little dust guys. Oh, the little fart boys. So I just did like a quick little recap, but then like exporting it was a bitch because it was so laggy because it was like I guess like the one that I got back from it. That I was able to recover. Is the video just our was like it? was like fucked up? Yeah, that's all it is. But like the one that I tried to recover was like super fucked up. So yeah, it was just like kind of laggy. And then when I exported, no way. <laughs> when I exported it, it um, mm -hmm. it was kind of fucked up. This? Yeah, we do that. Yeah. yeah do anyway, it didn't really export correctly, but I was able to like piece it together and it ended up working. Damn. How does that not work? But the second episode is probably also going to be bugged because it's the second episode is fully just I don't know the glitched shit. Really so we'll iPhone? see. I think it's just the iPhone thing. But yeah, hopefully, like I don't. Hopefully, the second episode goes a little smoother than the first. Yeah. But um, everything after that is fine because we actually like planned it out and mm -hmm. it, none of it's none of it is corrupted. I don't think. I've watched all of them already. I've like looked through them and made sure they worked. So nothing is corrupted. Good luck. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? How did I do that one? Happy you birthday. <laughs> how is that happy birthday? Was it working? How is that? How is that happy birthday? Actual shadow wizardry. That's so over. funny. He's casting it birthday is. spell. I cast birthday. Please try, try harder. There we go. I cast birthday. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's what a fifth level spell slot will catch you. Shit. Dude, I'm so hungry too, but I'm so tired. There's a 320. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. All right. We, we hope you enjoyed our little after party from this session and these three episodes. That's going to be we'll it. We'll see you next time. And yeah. we'll see you in the next episode and in the these, next after party. Yeah, it's the after. Oh! after yeah. Wait, we were fucking.